What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're gonna make some chile rellenos. And, uh, but I'm gonna show you a lot of tips. Now, not everybody um, has a, a gas stove, you know. Uh, they might have a, uh, one of these like KitchenAid's uh, ovens or if you have just a regular oven with a broiler. So there's three tips or three ways of roasting the pepper to take the skin out of the pepper. So that's very important. Otherwise it'll be very tough, very nasty. So it is the, the number one thing to do. So I'm gonna show you three ways of doing this, okay? Um, the first one, we're gonna use a stove. The second one, we're gonna use um, the oven. And uh, the third one, which is my favorite, and to me is the fastest, is the grill. All right, guys. We're gonna roast the pepper on the stove. So I'm just letting you guys know uh, how to do it three different ways because you might have at least one of these techniques that you can do at home. Uh, this, this is the second way of uh, roasting uh, your peppers. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on a broiler. Now, I, I added a little uh, oil and I massaged the peppers on both sides. We'll put it in there, put it on broiler, and it might take about 15 minutes to roast. And uh, meanwhile, that is roasting. We will go do uh, the grill. Here we go. We're roasting peppers on the grill, and you see how fast they roast inside the grill? I mean, look at that. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to burn the skin, so don't be afraid. Just burn that baby burn. And for the next step, you get the chilies, get uh, one of these plastic bags, grocery uh, plastic bags. And this is what we're looking for. You see how the skin is charred all over? Don't be afraid, put it in there. Now what this technique does, it, uh, it makes the skin sweat or the pepper sweat. And it'll be so much easier to just take the, the skin off of these. And we'll leave them there for about five minutes. See how nicely roasted these are? As you can see, everybody, now I have all my roasted peppers in here, right? Uh, they're sweating it out. We're just gonna go inside and show you uh, how the other finished product is. Okay, guys, and this one is finally done. You see how nice and roasted it is? Very pretty. And we're gonna put this one with, uh, with the other ones from the grill and let, let that one sweat it out. We're getting it out of the uh, broiler. This is the other method. You see how nice and roasted these are? And hot, hot, hot. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put them in with the rest of my chile relleno and let them sweat it out, baby. So we're gonna put this over here on the side for now. And uh, we'll show you the next step. And now for the uh, chile relleno salsa. Um, we're gonna use some California chiles. Now these right here, you can find them in the Mexican store or any store that you go to. And these, this is how they look. So we're only gonna use two. Why? Just for flavor. This is the same chiles that you use for uh, enchiladas but we're only going to use two uh, and like i said it's just for flavor now the ingredients for this salsa i'm going to have about uh, nine tomatoes and we're going to have about four cloves of garlic uh, about a quarter onion bell pepper just cut a little bit like i said just for flavor cumin about a half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of pepper and uh, this is optional, but it gives it a lot of flavor. Bullion, base. So we're gonna do this while my uh, chile rellenos are roasting right here. I mean, uh, sweating it out, as you can see, all the water. And that's gonna take the skin right out of them really quick. Um, so now we wanna get started. What, what you do with these is you put them in, in, uh, in water. You see how it's boiling? And you leave them there until uh, they kind of uh, hydrate again. 
And for the salsa, I'm gonna use about a cup of the beef broth. You can use a chicken stock, whatever. This is what I have right now, and it'll work. And this, all it's doing is obviously flavor, but uh, this is gonna start off the, the, the machine, the blender. So this is pepper, and this is my onion, my four cloves of garlic, I'm gonna put all my tomatoes in there. Make sure you wash everything. Now, here's a little bit of cumin. Here's my pepper. And like I said, this is optional, but we like it a lot it's for flavor flav. About a teaspoon of the bullion base. And now we go to the stove. And we're gonna get our chiles that are kind of hydrated. Some people like using the uh, water from here instead of like the broth. But like I said, I'm just giving it that flavor, flavor. You know what I mean? Um, and, and it's bitter. It's bitter, so that's, that's the reason I don't like using it. And this is it. Now we're gonna blend it. And then we're gonna cook it. Okay, next step. I'm gonna strain it. Reason being is because uh, the red pepper, the skin is still tough and you'll see some in there. So what you want to do is you just want to let it strain it. That way you don't get those pieces of um, pepper between your teeth, you know. But here you just press and press. And if you can see in the bottom over here, it just goes through all the nice strained salsa juice. And guys, this is this is uh, what you want right here, silky salsa, and this is what you don't want. All this is skin and all that extra stuff. That is just not as uh, good. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook this in the stove until uh, for about ten minutes or five minutes. And uh, remember, um, you uh, you add salt to taste. So keep tasting it. Use just a little bit. And we'll leave it there until all the, uh, remember, the onion is not cooked, the um, garlic is not cooked. So you don't want that strong flavor in your mouth. Once it cooks, it'll all mix in and it'll be delicious. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna use uh, this cheese right here. It's called Oaxacan cheese from Oaxaca. Now, what I did is I grated this, right? And I'm gonna put this uh, the green um, onion incorporated, mix it up. Why am I putting this? Flavor. Look at that. Our our roasted peppers have sweated out and now the skin comes right off. Look at that. It's so easy. And see, this is what you don't want in your chile rellenos. You can get a little spoon like this, look at that. See, that's, this is one of the tips right here. One of the most important tips that I can give you because this is what you don't want to eat right here. It's tough, very tough. All right, so we want to cut this to clean this out real quick. And what you want to do is you want to cut this part off. You see that? Because that, that's what's holding the seeds together. You want to get all the seeds out of there. And these veins right here are, if you don't like it spicy, this is what makes it spicy. So... I slit a little hole in there, and this is where we're gonna stuff our peppers. And for the next step, what you wanna do is um, put the peppers in the uh, flour and make sure that every bit of it is covered with it, right? And that's, that's how it should look, just like that. Okay. And now we stuff our pepper. Now this right here is cotija. 
or tija cheese and it's uh, very salty so what I like to do is I, I just like to put like a tablespoon of it and that's it so now guys we're gonna do a little pepper surgery I'm gonna put uh, some toothpicks now you notice while I did that my flour came off a little bit so this step you gotta have and this is what they should look like right here and for the next step we're gonna use uh, the egg and we'll start okay, guys, for the next process here we're gonna uh, get our uh, eggs to fluff up so this will take a few minutes and then I will show you what it looks like when it's ready Put the flour and incorporate that in. Okay, so we added the flour and we mixed it up. This is the way that you know that this is ready. When you turn it around and it doesn't fall, you see? That's when you know this part is ready. You see, that's the trick. Okay guys, so I have my yolks right here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like uh, a little bit at a time. And for this process, you don't wanna use your uh, blender. Why do we do it, we do it this way? It's because if, um, if we don't, uh, all the air that's inside of here, it'll just uh, get watery like. Because the next step is uh, frying it and then eating it. Okay, now this is the final step before you start uh, frying. So, you put it in there and just keep mixing it. Make sure that Every little bit is covered, as you can see. And then you just put it in there and let it start. So the last step is um, that salsa we made uh, I put the rellenos in there, the chile rellenos, and what that does is a couple of things, more flavor, and the other one is um, the, the cheese melts, and if you don't like all the sauce, then you can just add a little sauce, and this is how it would look. Mm. And look at that cheese. We just put it on a tortilla. Ow, the tortilla's hot. Add a little rice and go to town. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, guys, we are done. We're about to eat, and I tell you what, this whole process will make you really hungry, and they'll taste even better. So I made this chicken rellenos for um, the Fourth of July here for the family, family favorite. So God bless America, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.